guys today, right here, right now, I'm going to reveal this mystery box from China. And I only gave you a hint. Ready? We're going to open this up. see me reveal the mystery box go over to the end segment of this video for, for night right now I'm gonna be doing my Funko Pops that don't look like Funko Pops so let's go ahead and get to this review and we'll see which Funko Pops don't look like Funko Pops so yeah hey guys welcome to Funko Pop reviews where we're doing something slightly different today we're gonna be looking at my Funko Pops that don't really look like actual Funko Pops. They look like regular figures or just out of blue, just don't look like Funko Pops. So let's get into the video. So first up we have here, I'm going to start with like the Funko Pops that still do kind of the Funko Pop that I still still kind of looks like a Funko Pop but um, also doesn't. So this one, the Cat in the Hat one, the Flocked Barnes & Noble exclusive one. Well, or just the normal Cat in the Hat one. And the reason why I think this one doesn't really look like a Funko Pop is because it's a bit more skinny. The head is a bit more of the, you know, almost comparable to the size of the body. Because usually the heads are way more bigger. This one, however, is just a pair. They do got the eyes still. And... Also, it's a hat, very tall hat, but other than that, it still kind of looks like a Funko Pop, but yeah, uh, this one, um, apparently doesn't look like one because it's a bit skinny, and, well, um, that's it for this one, so I'm gonna go move on to the next one, Pop, that doesn't really look like a Funko Pop at all, so let's go on to the next one. I said it, hey! Let's film Funko Pop reviews over here. So, um, the next one that barely looks like a Funko Pop is the Dalek. Yes, the Dalek one, um, this one doesn't really look like a Funko Pop because it looks like a da Dalek figure. I'm going to get it out for you guys. So, um, this one doesn't really look like a Funko Pop because, look, you can already tell. Um, it's just, you know, just looks like your average Dalek figure. Except for one thing, it's a bit shorter, more stubbier, more smaller like a Funko Pop. Like the gun, it's a bit smaller. And then, like, um, the eye is bigger, of course. And then only has two of these rings instead of three. See, look, here's a normal Dalek figure. See, there's barely any difference except for this one would be, if they were the exact same size, this one would be more shorter and stubbier. Because look. But yeah. So that's why this one does not look like a Funko Pop. And you can just see the comparison. Oh, and also this has three of these and this has four of these. So that's why, you know, they kind of look close to it. Except for this one's a bit shorter, more stubbier overall is just like this but that's why this does not look like a Funko Pop and looks more like a Dalek figure so now to our final final <laughs> final uh, Funko Pop that does not look like a Funko Pop so let's go and see what it is now, I'm pretty sure you all saw this one coming it is the Hulkbuster Avengers Infinity Infinity War edition now the reason why this doesn't look like a Funko Pop it's because, well, no bigger head. It's actually the body that's bigger than the head this time. I'm going to take this out. Six inch pop. A six inch pop doesn't even look like a pop. Anyway, so I'm going to get it out. It is a bobble head, so that's nice. But overall, it just doesn't look like a Funko Pop. I think I'll get the Iron Man one out. 
for you guys so that way you can see why so um we're gonna set them right here so here is the hulkbuster funko pop and here's the iron man one so i see you can already see there's a big difference between the two bigger head smaller body smaller head bigger body so that's why it barely looks like a funko pop most six inches looks like this except for it's you know six inches tall or five and a half however big the funko company makes it but overall this um, is pretty much my least looking Funko Pop this is, but yeah. So now to move on to this final segment of the video, where I reveal the mystery box that I got from China. So, let's do this. Okay guys, today, right here, right now, I'm going to re be revealing this mystery box from China. That I only gave you a hint in the last video. You ready for it? We're gonna open this up. Okay. Here it is. The moment you've all been waiting for. Here it is. Get ready for the big reveal, everybody. A face bank! What? What is this doing here? So why did I get another face spank? Well, uh, first of all, there's a typo on the box. <laughs> yeah, well, you should have known it was from China. Well, you should see right now, this is what I meant by money and bricks. So you can read all this description and stuff. So I got another face spank because um, I came across this style of a neat red but brick pattern style face spank. If you don't know what a face spank is, it's a bank that eats coins. So, see it oh, moves its mouth like this. So I got another style of face bank so, uh, to add to a fake bank collection right now. And this is the style. So I'll be reviewing this in another video, the Fayo Bank, because this got a typo over here. But this is amazing. I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like to review this thing. Man. <laughs> so this is it. This was it. was in this mysterious box. If you don't know about the mysterious box at all, it's because uh, you haven't watched my previous video. It's the more big announcements. But anyway, Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to review this in the next video from the Desk of Ultra Films number, what number are we on, like 20, 30, 28? I don't know. I don't even know anymore, but in the next from the Desk of Ultra Films, I'm certainly going to review this brick-styled face bag. This is awesome, guys. Well... I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed what was inside that mystery box. Well, um, you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.